That's the bingo of the bag. Hi everyone, welcome in. Thank you so much for coming in for another video. We're gonna open a giant jewelry bag jar. They're one and the same in my eyes. So we bought this one at, I believe, the Goodwill for $60. This was an expensive one. I do pick them up. I don't really inspect them much. I'm just happy to see them when they come around. These bags have generated many, many designer items, everything from Yerman to Tiffany. Bulgari and beyond, but sometimes we find a lot of trash. So we're going to go through the trash and look for the treasure in it. I welcome you again for, to the channel. Thank you so very much for being here. I'm going to show you quickly my rings of the day. Some people do like to see those. And this is a thing that came out of a jar, actually. It, it's a French designer. It's got Labradorite. It is gold over sterling. It's absolutely beautiful. I love that. That did come out of a bag. This one came up from, from a garage sale. It's also sterling gold vermeil. Not sure what the gem is. And then this is a beautiful, absolutely amazingly stunning stone that is a was a pendant that I picked up here at a jewelry auction from Sugar Vision. Steven at Sugar Vision. I'll link his channel below so you can check him out. He has amazing items and he has an amazing eye for finding that gem. He sold me this a couple of years ago in a pendant, and I always loved it, wore it quite a bit as a pendant, but I always looked at it and thought, wouldn't that be a fantastic ring? I finally had a jeweler do that for me. Crosslet 14 karat gold from James Avery. I love these big, chunky necklaces. You know, I don't know who started the rumor that some of these things are fake, but uh, I would take a look at where the news comes from because none of this has ever been fake. Not by me and not by anyone that I know of that does jewelry jars. I think that's a horrible, horrible thing to, to put out there, whether in jest or to clickbait or whatnot. It's really an awful thing because we have fun doing these jars. We have hunt, fun hunting for them. I would never, ever stage something like this and i've seen many people stage things like garage sales and estate sales and they've all been planned and so forth but no these bags are never fake they're never staged by me or anyone that i have watched here on youtube and i've been on youtube for 10 years the very first person i ever saw do a jewelry jar was texas gal treasures and many other wonderful people but never have i seen one being staged so that rumor needs to be laid to rest it's nothing but fun for me and i have no reason to even think about doing something like that careful when i do these because i have been known to cut into a necklace or two it's very heavy i would say it's at least five pounds it's very heavy here what is this a glass heart that's nice that's very nice. Let's, let's pour out a few things here on the side. Some people like for me to pour them out. Some people don't. Can't please everyone, so I don't even try. Definitely needs a little cleaning. Looks like, like, looks like it has a little dust or something. And it does have a mark. 18 karat gold filled is what it says on the bale. It's just a nice, heavy glass heart. Heart of glass. This is also very dirty and dusty it's a nice imitation of rose quartz it's definitely plastic a little bangle there okay, here's the giant link chain this one needs to be this is very very cool designers have done this then of course it works its way down to the mass market but I've definitely seen High-end designers do this in the ivory as well as the black. It's fantastic. I really do like this. Oh, this is pretty. Look at this bangle. Kind of enameled. Silver tone. It's pretty though. And it's not very big, which I love. This is a nice size. See the dust on this one too. Where did they have these bags? Interesting beads. It's just really, really in need of a bath. A turquoise colored cross single earring. We'll put the single earrings aside as much as I can. Kind of mesh. That's a little stretch. These look like Jasper. Another bangle. Stay tuned for a live coming up soon this week. I'm going to 
finish the final updates on the flea market jewelry that we found for $50. Giant bag. I think it's just silver tone here. Pretty. Look at this. Winged heart. It says sister. Oh, it's got angels there. Two angels. That is really pretty. It's very heavy. It almost looks like the quality of a Brighton or something. I love those wings. Oh my goodness. That is so pretty. My husband has a similar bracelet. It's a lot wider and thicker though and it's got an eagle eagle's wings like this very nice okay and of course it has a little sentiment all around it well i can't read it all but it's a beautiful sentiment there about the sunshine and a beautiful world etc cross earrings these are resin aren't those pretty they kind of look like um verdigris metal or something lightweight resin very cool band to take a close look at it. I don't know, I can't quite tell what it says. Um, I don't know if it's upside down or what, but that's it there. Definitely gold tone. Look at this thing. Is that missing the stone? No, there it is. Wow. That is interesting. Look at that ring. That is so pretty. Very pale pink stone on it. That is a fun ring. That. Also got the ring size on it. Size nine. May have had the store name or designer name on it. It's really cute. All right, then we have a big cross here. Rhinestones are still there. These kind of an enhancer style comprised of hearts. That could definitely use a cleaning as well. Plastic and it is broken. Needs a clasp. Just a silvery chain made of plastic. That'll go in a crafter lock. Copper or brass. This is so pretty. Look at that little heart charm with the padlock. That is very cool. That is really pretty. No maker on it. It does appear to be genuine copper. It could be copper tone. I'll double check it. Be cool. Very cool. I like that. All right. Here was another interesting thing down here. This orange thingy. Wow. Look at this. We've got frogs or turtles. What is that? Kendra Scott tangled up in there. Okay, interesting. Look at this. That's the little accent. It's kind of worn out, though. Kind of like the chain all by itself. Probably really cool at one time. Right now, it's definitely seen better days. Make the curved chain on this. I always like plastic. <laughs> Resin, acrylic, lucite. I just find it very, very cool. My hands are feeling really filthy already. Where were you when I needed you? I was trying to make a lanyard last week to get my school badge ready, my ID badge. Those of you who may or may not know, I do go back to work. Well, I already started last week, but the children come back on the 14th. Come fly with me, MP. Hmm. Cute. I don't know who MP is. Other than Magnolia Pearl, I don't really know who MP is, but that is such a cute little bracelet. I love that verdigris and brass and coppery look. Yeah, that's a nice piece. The stretch is still pretty much intact on that. Interesting earring here. Boy, the earrings are in here. And everything. Oh my goodness. This is a nice clamper. Last time I had a chain inside a piece of jewelry, I forgot what it was. I forgot if it was an earring or what. But it took me forever. I was already going to sell the, oh yes, it was a vintage. I was selling it at my auction. And then I had to pull it because I realized there was a chain inside of it. And you could barely see it. But it turned out to be a 10 karat gold chain. So that was nice. I brought back the, the pendant the next week and sold that as well. Wow, this is awesome. 
This is really cool. Needs a good cleaning, but it is really pretty. I don't see any rhinestones missing on that. Very nice. This is dusty too. That's a Rivoli. Oh my gosh, I just don't really care for these things. Some people, I think they use them with scarves. But this is not a bad looking Maltese cross there. I wouldn't mind putting that by itself. And on another chain or even a velvet cord, that would be amazing. And that looks like it has all its rhinestones as well. Dusty, honestly, they are, I can feel the dust in my hands. But that is nice. Bangles, it looks like copper as well. Looks like it may have had something on, I don't know, it feels like maybe something went on the inside. It's pretty though, it almost looks like the color of a gold filled. It's got that really rosy color. See how it's got that groove? It's nice. Here is, I think, dyed halite. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yes, Texas proud. Texas proud. <laughs> God bless Texas. Absolutely. Look at that. It says Texas, and it's just amazing. And it hooks on anything. Oh my goodness, look at that. It's a sandwich. Just a stack there. That is something else. That is something else. All right, here we have a heart. This looks like an old Brighton. <laughs> Very old, worn out Brighton. I don't know though. It's so pretty. Yeah, there's a heart. I don't think there's any save in this Brighton. <laughs> Looks a little bit too far gone, but what? Oh my God, I bet that was a beautiful bracelet. I just don't think we could clean that. We could try. We could certainly try. It's definitely a Kendra, and it's in good condition. Interestingly pretty. It's got the Kendra Scott logo as the cutout work. That's what it is there, so that's cute. Yeah, that is really pretty. See the logo there? That necklace alone, I would say at least double of what this jar, what I paid for the jar. Yeah, they're worn out. They're so pretty too. They are actually glass. Rhinestones there. They're quite worn out. On the verge of popping or disintegrating. So I'm gonna put that in a crafter. Oh, those are cute. There were more pieces in there. These are some little tiny snowflakes. And another very dusty stretch. Oh, I guess we got two of these. I don't see a mark, but it's very pretty, and I hope I find the match. Here's some more hoops. These are actually matched up. And they have blue rhinestones on them. Little stretch, kind of metallic gold and silver. Got statement necklaces or something in here. Did not do a very good job on stringing this because they, they used a sort of a tiger tail style wire on it, so it's like bendable, which is strange. But the beads are interesting. They look kind of exotic. I'm gonna wash this and then put it in a crafter lot. And there's glass as well as acrylic in here. This pretty red heart is glass. In a crafter lot after I wash off all this dust. And these are in need of cleaning. Absolutely needs to be clean. Okay, so they made earrings too, I think. Some pink Mardi Gras beads. The typical requisite. Is this another bangle or is it the same one? I think it's another one. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, it's another one. Cute. I like these. Let's see if I can find the match. Oh, this is a pretty one. This one has sodalite glass as well. Some art glass, some AB glass. All of this is absolute gunk. I can literally feel an inch of dust on that. 
but it's a nice piece, some nice exotic beads on that. We have a tangulation here. Statement necklace, who makes it? It's got a dangle tag. Charming Charlie. Statement necklace nonetheless, and I think I'm gonna put in a crafter lot. Anyway, I've put a lot of these in my crafter lots lately. People can make other things out of them. I have seen people make wonderful redesigns. Let's see what else pops out of here. Oh, another very nice stretch. This is glass, kind of a smoky quartz. I don't know if that's the design logo there, designer logo. Good stretch on it. Very nice. I love the faceted glass beads there. And then there's black pearls as well. Here's a brass bangle, very lightweight brass bangle. Ooh, this is nice. This is very nice. I like these. Stylized twist already in it. Look at that. Look at that little dangle drop there. And it's already twisted for you. These are glass. Very nicely done. Oh, I love this. This reminds me of that beautiful 40s, you know, the big chunky pieces. Oh, I love it. That is so nice. Already twisted up and tangled and effortlessly styled. That's a nice one. That paid for the bag right there, in my opinion. I really like that. Okay, here is, what in the world is this? Interesting cord and then another cord, so I'm not sure what that is. I think it's imitation leather. Very good imitation of it, though. So I'm gonna put this in a crafter. Oh my gosh, look at this Alex and Annie. Dire Straits here. It's got a C, I believe. It's their typical usual charms for Alex and Annie or Annie, however you want to say it. Another metal style stretch on that. Magnetic bracelet with really nice woven mesh in a sort of a gunmetal and silver. That's a cool piece, except everything was sticky. <laughs> Pick up all the jewelry behind you, around you. Yeah. Oh, that's pretty, though. I like that. That's a nice piece. Another Brighton. It is. This one's not as bad as the other one. Might be able to be salvaged with a good cleaning. Brighton. Another. Gosh, I can't believe how dirty this jewelry is. It's unbelievable. A little stretch of um, black acrylic stones pearl stretch oh this is nice these are ab crystals this is very nice nice toggle very dusty as well these are not acrylic another nice piece this all does look like just silver tone on that i love the bracelets i love the necklaces too don't get me wrong but when i find the ab crystal in a bracelet oh my gosh i just think it's so amazing so you can actually see it <laughs> on yourself. You can admire it while you're working, you know, either typing or something. I'm going to see about putting some strolling findings on here because I know I can do that. <laughs> I've got the tools to open that up and then just add a sterling toggle. Let me know in the chat if you have bought any of the sterling findings from Amazon. I know a lot of people buy the jewelry backs and earring things, uh, earring hooks but other things that are sterling. I wonder if you've had good luck with them and uh, on Amazon. By the way, if you're enjoying the video so far, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. That really helps boost it in the search and people can find the channel. Wait, it is paparazzi. Again, supposedly matching earrings. You would think they'd put some roses or something. There. But I'm gonna put this in a crafter. Oh, wow. <laughs> These are definitely showstoppers. Look at that. Wowie, wow. Very lightweight, too. Look at those. These are so cool. 
honestly, I think they are really cool. They're very lightweight. The statement earring that you would only wear this and maybe a bracelet. Those are flashy. Yes, this is beautiful. Oh, I like it this way. That is a shell, red shell. They did a good job dyeing this. It looks like coral. How pretty is that? Stretch on it still. Yeah, I really like it on this side too. What do you think? You like this side or the round side? It's got a whole different mood when you wear it the other way. Very lightweight, very bright gold. This looks like the Indian gold. South Asian 22 karat gold. That's what color they're going for here. This is really, really yellow. Oh, another shell bracelet. How cute. Stretch is good too. This is more of a cha-cha variety. Look at that. That's pretty. We have more dusty jewelry. Vintage style. These are all acrylic. The pearls look, some of them look like they have lost their color. I'm going to wash them and put them in a crafter. Look at that. This is like I'm not kidding. Look at the dust. Yeah, someone accused me of looking through the trash the other day. It was very rude. Some of your comments. Honestly, some comments are so incredibly insane that they're almost not rude. They're just insane. Yeah, someone said, you're the one looking through the trash when all I said was, I'm sorry, I don't have malls in your area. I mean, I thought that was kind of a loss when we started losing malls. And she says to me, don't be sorry for me. You're the one looking in the trash. <laughs> okay. Uh, this is trash right here, y'all. You don't like me looking through the trash? You might be wanting to skip forward. Still watch the video. Just skip forward a little bit. <laughs> but look. Look at that. Oh my gosh, that's insane. A rant for no reason, I know. I should know after 10 years of being here on YouTube that um, people will say the most insane things. We'll hijack chats, live chat, with the most insane comment. You just can't believe someone would have the time to write it, read it, and still submit what they do. This is a nice little drop, I like that. I think it's pretty. I always like white jewelry too. This looks like the Silpata logo. Y2K statement necklace. Make about a million earrings out of that. The earring on the beaded. So cute. They're not very heavy either. These are darling. They are so, so fun. Pink, yellow, blue. So cute. I like this one. It's cute. Pink enameled. This is sort of an amber color drop here. Maker on it. Nice chain. It's kind of your little statement drop necklace. Watches. It's kind of a Vera Bradley pattern. It's so cute. I have a Oh, I think these are for the um, Apple Watches. Some kind of stretch Apple Watch bracelet thingy. Another watch. A nice band on it. This one says Genuine Leather. I do need a band for another watch that I have, but sometimes they're really starting to get on my nerves because they say Genuine Leather and they still peel. So I feel like it's bonded leather on many of these. I'll check it out though. What a pretty watch. Already peeling right here. That wouldn't happen with real leather. That's bonded leather. They're getting away with them using the term genuine leather. But then again, some people say 800 silver. <laughs> There's not enough silver in there to call it silver. Kind of leather look on these. Heavy watch. What in the world is this one? It's a fossil. Pastel pink, the bracelet looks good. And it looks like it's adjustable as well. I like when they do that. When you can take out one of the hooks, you can, it's got like a double closure clasp, so you can actually adjust it quite well. 
going to see about putting a battery on this one. This one's very nice. And a stainless band, so we don't have any wear on that. Pakistani gold here. Kind of South Asian gold imitation here from Paparazzi. For the link necklace. So that's matched up. And let's drop some more here. See what else pops out. These hoops. A little on the heavy side. Paparazzi as well. It's got imitation. This is Howlite. Matrix is kind of gold too, so it looks nice. Nice big drop. And we have the matching bracelet. I don't know if this is paparazzi or not. It's got a nice stretch and a nice look. Again, people love the turquoise look. It doesn't necessarily have to be genuine turquoise to please someone who just loves the look of this beautiful blue. Look at this thing. Wow. Horrible, horrible condition on the band. Look at that. See how that's peeling? That's very cool. Someone could make a really nice piece of art or steampunk jewelry. Look how easily these... Look, I'm actually pulling them off. Tearing them off. Like paper. <laughs> this one came off faster. Unreal, right? Unbelievable. Just in case you ever wondered whatever happened to quality. Whatever happened to quality is this fast consumption of junk. It's pretty in this black with the face on it. Find the matching earring to this gold one, which is very pretty. These are in great condition. Gold tone. Very nice kind of a chain motif there. Another watch. This one says New York. This one didn't even bother to say whether it was leather, bonded leather, just kidding, leather. I never understood these. I think people buy these for wedding parties, maybe. Everybody wears the pearl studs. I don't know. Why would you buy this many pearl earrings? Can someone explain that? All right, wow, the unicorn. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That is one heavy keychain. You will not lose that. The last unicorn. Is that a movie? I think I'll put that on a chain. Wear it on a torque or something. I don't know. But this pewter, Ratcliffe pewter. It's numbered. It's from 1988. All the rhinestones are there too. Isn't that cool? I think I might just put it in a frame and put it right there on my background. Here's a nice bracelet. It looks like a Brighton as well. Wow, they had some good Brighton in here. But kind of worn. Last two are very worn. Oh, what a shame. Look at all the bright and scroll in the back. Wear it backwards. <laughs> wow. I'll see if I can take that gunk off of there, but I don't know. That is such a pretty design. VTech watch. Premier design. Oh my goodness, I've never seen Premier designs in a package like this. When I knew about Premier Designs, they were a home party and things would get delivered in a box and never saw anything in a little packaging like this. Very nice though. Look at those AB crystals. Okay. And there's the logo you often see on jewelry. And here is it. Wow, this is a giant size puka shell. These are actually nice. They're graduated. They look a little bit more like from the 80s, not quite the originals with the barrel clasp. I like the graduated look of that one. That one's nice. Smooth tiger eye strand. Doubled it too, but it might be too short for doubling. Tiger eye. Oh, what a pretty necklace. I mean, bracelet. That's a nice padlock. It looks like it needs a cleaning, too. Oh, my gosh. Look at the way it opens like that. That is so cool. That would be nice on a necklace. Wow. This is so nice and heavy. This looks like a Juicy or something. Looks like the quality of a Juicy Couture. Let's see what it says down here. Nice. 
Henry Bendel, very, very exclusive store. New York store. This is heavy and nice. Okay. All right. This tripled the money of the bag for sure. This is nice. This is just dust. And those are little, I don't know, crystals, black crystals. Bingo. I think this is the bingo. For sure. Wow. Yeah, definitely. Look at this. Mom. This is really pretty. I thought it might be real silver. It's very heavy and black. Enameling. And it's in good condition, too. Barazzi with pearls and chains and matching pearls. Acrylic. Good condition. Rings. AB crystal. Glass there, whatever. This one's interesting, too. Look at the way they're adjustable. They're kind of cute. Two rings. I like this one a lot. This is paparazzi, and these are so cool. They look like the color of denim lapis, and they have alternative. You can wear them as dangle hoops, or you can wear them with these big old kind of folkloric looking hoops, which I like the folkloric look better. They're just little blue beads. Stretch does need a wash as well. A bracelet with little little prayer boxes all around. Oh, I don't think they open it. It looks like they're all silver tone. That's pretty interesting right here. Wow, Ow, that hurts. That hurt to put it on and it's very, very heavy. Another watch, what is this? Oh my gosh, this is Cookie Monster. Now this one might sell on eBay for sure. Cookie Monster, finally we got a winner. Look, especially since, isn't he obsolete now? Didn't they get rid of the Cookie Monster? All of the PC people thought that cookies were bad for kids. I talked to my grandson this morning, he was eating cookies, Girl Scout cookies. Yeah. Oh, this is cute, I love Cookie Monster. I think the cookies move. I'm going to get a battery for this one. This one, and it's by Sesame Street. And leather. We'll see. Brand new, too. Yeah, this one's going up on eBay. This is an Apple Watch band. No matter how you dress up that thing, it's still just a black box on your wrist. Nice. A double flag. I've never seen that. Let's see what the Apple says. Maybe it's a James Avery. No, I don't think James Avery would make one like that hollowed out. 925. And some of them mark like in a circle. All right, here's a heart. Gold. I will test that. Last time I found a gold heart, it was very heavy like this one, and it was 18 karat. But boy, is it weighty. This is solid. This is a very solid heart. I will test it, though. Clip-on earrings. Oh, these are cute. My granddaughter might like these. On the match to this pair, which I really liked. Let's see how they look very nice in the back, too. Substantial, too. Not overly heavy, but they're not very tinny. Yep. Dyed halite. This is a nice imitation of halite, of turquoise here. Matrix looks very good. And this is hematite. It's not magnetic. Ready. That's very nice. I like that. These are very cool Astros. <laughs> These are the colors of the Houston Astros. There's a baseball there. That is so cool. A true fan there. <laughs> I love that. Oh, wow. Look at this. Oh, my gosh. Anna, look how cute. For her baby shower. It's a baby brooch. It's got a little... Look, and all the dangly baby bottles <laughs> I can wear it to the shower. 
Oh, and a little safety pin. Oh, that is darling. My daughter's going to have her baby shower in September. This will be perfect to wear. Oh, I love it. Look at that. And it's JJ, of course. I've never seen this brooch. It's so funny because sometimes you see the same repetition of the brooches, right? Of JJ, especially because they're so iconic. But I've never seen this one. Let me know in the comments if you have ever seen this precious brooch. I am so excited. My middle daughter's having her first baby. So, so, so excited. And this is amazing. That's so cute. This is the same one we just ran into. So we had two of these. What in the world are these? Oh, look at these earrings. And they're matched. They are cool. This is, oh, wow. These are beautiful. They're like a paisley design. Kind of a smoky rhinestone and then a citrine color and I do not see any missing rhinestones do you this is like a space right here but it's over here too so there are no missing stones there those are gorgeous wow no mark on it the smoke is more like a lilac lavender color the back here little color loss on the back but nothing compromised in the front at all. Very pretty. We've got a glass cross. This one's pretty. It's got a nice big bale. Blues and gold. Kind of coppery colors in there. That's a pretty one. A fleur -de -lis on a beadball chain. Isn't that cute? I like that. It's got roping around it. Okay, this is an earring, a twist back earring, but it's been flattened. I'll have to try to straighten that out. Old colored marquee cut rhinestone there. Beautiful. I sure hope I find the match as well. The other matching earring I was going to send to my granddaughter. They're so, so cute. Gla uh, volcanic stones or something. And then there's a little howlite there, black. Nice stretch on that still. Cross earring. It's cool. It's one single earring so far. I hope I find the other one. And it says self love and respect on the back. Your earrings match that long strand. What is this? A little gold ring. Probably part of a. Wait a minute, it says something. Pro yeah, probably part of a necklace. It says peace on it. I think it was part of this necklace. Old tone snake. Oh, that is so cool. And it's just got a lot of rings with rhinestones and affirmations, I guess. Love, peace, friends, forever. That's what it says on the rings. Gold tone. The rings are in great condition. Look at that. That's very nice. And then this matches the earring. But it's on a necklace, and I believe it says the same thing, self-love and respect on the back. This is very nice. I like it. It looks kind of gothic. Beautiful. One earring and the pendant, and hopefully we'll find the other earring. Here's a ring. Looks like a little sterling ring. Is that a... It looks like a little garnet. What do you think? I don't see a mark. There it is there. Very heavy beaded chain here. This is interesting. Kind of silvery beads. And it looks like someone used a vintage style clasp on it look great as a substitute for bench bead or what they call Navajo pearls usually sterling truly silvery that's a heavy earring there it reminds me of the Vatican collection that was out of Dillard's a few years ago it has gold accent pieces hope I find the match to that one it's beautiful 
Let me know if you know what they call this cross. I don't know why I want to say bonnet or bonnet cross. Let me know if you know. Oh, here is the match. I'm so excited. It's really pretty. It's gold accents on the middle of the cross and at the top. Beautiful. And the other earring has, no, no, what is this? Oh, I just saw the other black earring. Here it again. Look at this with the charms. Wow, this is pretty. Wow, this looks like a Brighton. Finally, a good Brighton. Look at that. Not worn out. I was going to say, could it be James Avery? Because James Avery makes a beautiful... Well, you build them. Uh, charm necklaces, too. But this looks like a Brighton. Oh, my gosh. This is gorgeous. Look at this. That is awesome. Can you see the links and all of the beautiful details of this necklace? It's either the Vatican or the Vatican Collection or Brighton, but I've never known Brighton to make a religious theme. Well, I'm not a real follower of Brighton jewelry, but let me know if you are and what you know because this is fantastic. This is fantastic. And there's the mark there. Taiwan, and it is a Brighton. It's indeed a Brighton. There's the B. Wow, this is fantastic. This is so awesome. Very heavy. Uh, probably 34 inches long. Very cool piece. Just all crosses. Crosses. The links are just beautiful. Look at the links. And this is, all I can say is praises. And I am not being facetious. Praises that the only Brighton so far that has been in excellent, amazing condition is this one. Is this one of Jesus Christ. Amen. Oh my gosh, I adore it. Absolutely love it. Absolutely love it. And then there's the hearts. Oh my goodness, that is just incredible. It's in perfect condition. Compared to the three or four things come out of this bag and they've been brightened and they've been sullied to the point of where I don't even want to craft them. I want to actually probably just recycle them. And then this one comes out perfect. Wow, I'm just, I'm just floored. Truly just floored. Here is another pair of earrings here kind of an imitation turquoise as well they are also in very dire need wash there another apple charm it is both of these were sterling wow how cool is that these could be earrings maybe someone took them off the earring hook they're identical there was two now there are two these are pretty look at these these are amethyst Genuine amethyst, genuine pearls. Wow, we're getting to the treasure at the bottom of the trash. Yes, 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 ma'am. That is me digging through the trash. As there was an attempt to insult me this week of me looking through the trash. Yes, ma'am, I look through the trash. My hands are dirty. There is evidence there of me looking through the trash, but look at this treasure that I have found. These are beautiful, faceted amethyst and genuine pearls. Who doesn't love amethysts and pearls? Gorgeous. Little pink dangle crosses on those. Organza ribbon, kind of a golden orange colored pearl, some AB crystals. That's pretty. There's a little pearl. Looks like imitation. Kind of in the shape of a cross as well there. Charm, what is this? Noah's Ark. I see the animals now. That's cute. Souvenir style earrings with pretty birds on them. That is so cute. Earrings to match the pendant. Very pretty. Charm here. Another cross. A Celtic cross, I believe. Another cross here. This is another Brighton piece. 
This one is possibly another necklace with Maybe this is an extender for it. Very interesting. It could be. Because it has the same cross. This one has sort of a gold accent on the cross on the inside. Might be something to be able to convert it into a double strand or something like that. Match on the little coppery men's earrings. This is a Brighton too. This one's in better condition. Wow, we sure did get a lot of Brighton. Look at that. A smoky quartz colored stones. Very good condition on this one as well. This one has a little patina, but not like the other ones we saw. And it does have the heart and the dingle and the sling tag with the B on that one. So wow, great. Brighton pieces in here. Look, another one. This is the matching necklace, but this necklace looks very worn. Matching that right there. Maybe it could be salvaged. Oh, wow. Look at this. This could be salvaged if we took this off of this chain and found another one, because look at the difference in the coloration there. I mean, I'm going to certainly try to clean it, because Again, with that beautiful smoky quartz in there. This matched up into the set, the one that said self-love. Do you get the matching earrings with the pendant on a rope here? And this one has, a, is this Brighton too? This is a Brighton as well. Interesting. Brighton does some really cool things then. Yeah, this is also a Brighton. There's the swing tag there. There's the heart with the B. I love it. It's very gothic looking. More Brighton. This one says, says hope and it has a heart. It is one earring so far. Here it is. Yeah, they both say hope. Aren't those pretty? We match these up too. That's crazy. They finally fell together here. Two little hearts with uh, what appears to be CZs in there or crystals. We still have a tangulation. Okay, an anklet. Nice one. This one has flip-flops flip-flop sandals very nice kind of glittery little citrine color there enamel green earrings a lot of little charms I think most of them are silver tone from what I found so far let me take a look at them it's like we have a sterling nice that's this one here Looks like it says Wang Sterling on the back of that mother and child. It also says 925. Very pretty. Let's see what it says. Copyright. See, it's kind of hard to see it, isn't it? I like the hidden bail too. Make out the even with a loop, I can't make it out. I thought it said Lang, but it's a much longer word with an L. Let me know what you know. It's a beautiful sterling mother and child with a hidden bale. And it's kind of like a heart. We're going to try to untangle this. Gwen. Gwen. I don't know if that's Gwen Stefani. Stone cross here. They're kind of faceted. They do appear to be glass, but it's very worn. It's like a boho style here. Another cross. None of these are marked, and they do appear to be silver tone. Asian motif here. This feels like, doesn't feel very cold. Could be glass. You tell me. I can't quite tell what the design is. Looks abstract. We'll drag it inside there on the side. So got this one here. I can't quite tell if it's a shell of a nut or something. It kind of looks, oh, I think it's coconut. I think it's a coconut shell. This little arrowhead thing popped out. It was part of this, which looks like an Asian symbol script, but it popped off of the string here and I really like it. It's glass. 
it looks like tortoise shell so I'm going to put a chain through it I think it's beautiful yeah I think it's glass it's got a piercing through the top so I'll be able to put another chain through that wow we went through some dust and dirt didn't we but we found some great things I love the Brighton love the JJ brooch the sterling mother and child the Henry Bendel the vintage earrings the fantastic Brighton even the Brighton that needed some cleaning is truly amazing I really love it and just a lot of good pieces in here sterling charms as well so I hope you enjoyed the video as much as I enjoy bringing it to you. Please give the video a thumbs up. Come back and see me again. I have a lot more jewelry jars to show you. As always, I appreciate the uh, subscription. If you haven't subscribed yet, please be sure and subscribe today. It's always free. I never sell directly here, but always email me. If anything that you like or you find interesting and would like to purchase, just shoot me an email. All the information is in my description box. I hope to see you back at the very next one. Bye-bye.